Hey guys, Silence here, here. Welcome back to another unboxing video. This time round it is for the month of February 2020, and I have quite a bit of packages once again. Well, not as many as the last video for January, but uh, they are all in different sizes and shape. So let's start off with the tiniest ones first. Of course, um, as usual, Apparently this time round, Amazon didn't do such a good job. Um, the box came tattered and torn. Luckily, the, the items uh, are well placed in the center, just as what Amazon always does. So this one, mm, this one's pretty easy to open. So it won't take that much time. Just pull it open, toss this aside, and of course, um, pry the box apart. apart. Since the box is already torn and tattered, let's just destroy the whole thing because uh, there's no saving this box at all so all right so this time around like as usual apparently amazon is now doing pamphlets um advertising for whatever company that is paying them money to do so oh my goodness i'm dropping stuff all over the floor all right so let's cut this open because that's how amazon packs their stuff um okay so apparently yes i've got uh, a few things or rather two things only from within this box i'm gonna toss this box aside because there is just no goddamn space in my room as usual so yes i'm moving up with volume 5 of dr stone on the blu-ray so this one comes with a special code attached to the back because this is from amazon so yes hopefully i'm able to get the i don't know whether you guys can see it that's the tapestry image um, that is related to disc 5 so hopefully enough I'll be able to collect all of the tapestries I don't know um, gotta go insert the code before the thing time out on the promotion so let me put that aside then the other thing is yes you guys probably have seen more than enough Yuru Cam stuff from my last unboxing video if you guys have not watched it please go watch it and <laughs> Uh, see what other contents and uh, anime series or whatever series that I personally love if you're interested to pick them up so yes Yuru Camp has now become one of my number one faves as well so I had to get this this is a I would say a travel guide for popular spots within the show itself so yeah so I'm just gonna flip through some of the stuff that they actually gave so there is this long poster as well so it has Nadeshiko and uh, Rin on it as well and of course at the back of it they will introduce you spots that was shown in the anime itself so yeah if you guys want to see some of it and of course aside from that small pop-up booklet um, yeah this one is full with character introductions as well including like the voice actresses and all that kind of stuff and of course because it's a travel book they also show you like locations and stuff so if you want to go and visit them when you're in Japan definitely this book will become in handy uh, for me personally I would definitely go and visit all these locations when I'm there eventually um, with my own time and own target I guess so yeah that's pretty fun um, oh yeah there's even this section with like let me see here um the hot pots that they showed throughout the show so if you guys are foodies definitely give this uh book a try if you can read japanese that is because this book that doesn't has Eng doesn't have english at all um then of course there's a section about the seiyus so my two favorite fa favorite seiyus from um you know this series so we have Toyama now who plays Rin. Then of course we have uh, um, Rie who plays, um, wait, Rie is not this one. <laughs> Rie is somewhere behind. Um, yeah, there she is. So she plays this spunky girl that is best friends with Rin. So yeah. All right, so that aside. So if you guys are interested, go and pick yourself a uh, copy um this is only about a thousand two hundred and fifty yen 
um, I guess without the tax. So it's roughly about I guess 12 US dollars. Not that expensive but of course if you're shipping this to your country uh, the cost of shipping is gonna be expensive so I recommend you to get this only if you have something else in mind so you can save cost on the shipping itself so that's one of the reasons why I bundled it together with Dr. Stone Blu-ray so that's to save a uh, bit on the shipping cost. All right, so moving along from that, we have another tiny package. This one, um, oh, this is from CB Japan. So I guess this one is belonging to Toyama now and uh, Suzuki Minori's latest singles. I uh, yes, if you're watching this now, uh, I am very late for opening this up. Um, the singles have been almost released about a month now. <laughs> Uh, so um, very late to the singles. That's okay. I can enjoy their music um, now, I guess. All right. So let's slice this up. A small box won't take too long. All right. So stuffing out the way, taking out the package just like that. All right. Throwing in the invoices because who needs them? And tossing the box aside. All right. So. As usual, CD Japan takes care of their stuff. They always bubble wrap the CDs that the customers order in, including manga. If you order manga from them, they will wrap it up in you know bubble wrap as well, just to protect the books. So okay, so um, like most of CD Japan stuff. Um, so here we have the special edition version of uh, Suzuki Minori's single. Yeah, if you guys don't have it yet, um, they come with. They come with uh, bromide, so this is the Neo Wings version of um, the bromide. I cannot get the reflection away, so it's a printed sign, printed sign, picture. Ah, yeah, there we go. Hopefully you can see it now. So yeah, so if you guys haven't gotten yourself a copy, go ahead and order one. Probably it will not come with this anymore because it's a pre-ordered. You know item exclusive then of course aside from you know Suzuki Minori there is Toyama now as well so apparently Toyama now doesn't come with anything so that's kind of a bummer I remember I remember it does come with something but ah well um, oh it's here <laughs> so hers comes with a broma as well a pre-printed one as usual so this is for a single that is related to the Koisuru Asteroid anime. So yes, very lovely songs from the two ladies of Waukure. Um, yes, the two of them are members of Waukure. If you have not known uh, as of now, most of my stuff are related to all the Macross characters or the voice actresses. All right, so bubble wrap out of the way. All right, the next few CDs that I have I have all to do with Yuru Camp. Yes, like I said, I've gone crazy with Yuru Camp. So um, here we go. We have, I think this is the ending song for Yuru Camp's normal TV series. So this is the, I guess the animated print uh, limited edition. And then of course, this one is Shiny Day. So it's the opening song. So I, I went with the artist um, limited edition version um, for it because I definitely want this tool that has like the PV, the music video and the making of it. So definitely looking forward to listening to this. Then of course, aside from this, I had to get the original soundtrack for the show itself because it is just that awesome that it deserves to be bought. Um, the original soundtrack alone is so wonderfully made that it can be used for a cafe in the future. Uh, so if I do ever decide to stop YouTubing and then of course if I go back to my original um, line of work which, which was culinary, yes, I, I graduated with a culinary cert. Um, so I'm naturally a chef. <laughs> That's why Yuru Camp drew me in. Um, aside from the camping and the fun that the girls are having, the food itself on the series really, really attracted me because, you know, who knew that you could do like um, pretty decent a cuisine style cooking with 
camping gear. Oh, that really, uh, that really amazed me. <laughs> so, um, so yes, definitely the three soundtracks for the TV series of Eurocamp. Now there is a eight bit version, I think, soundtrack as well, but I didn't get that because, um, it didn't really appeal to me as a long term listen. So. I guess if it was a second-hand, very cheap sale, um, um, I probably might get it in the future. But you know, those are the just the main three that I definitely want to have it, uh, in the future that will probably be used for a cafe if I ever run one or a restaurant. Um, of course, it's good enough for the video like this. <laughs> so I'm sure somewhere in this video you're listening to like the original soundtrack of Eurocam right now. Um, silently, of course, because copyright. I can't have the music playing too loudly. So, <laughs> alright, the next one is from Ami Ami. It's a, just a small box this time round. Well, for this one at least. I have two packages from Ami Ami for the month of February, and one is a huge ass box. So, let's start with the tiny one because uh, I can toss the tiny one into the larger ones for um, recycling in the later on after this video so yes tiny box means easy opening and i don't have to do much editing for this video okay so stuffings out of the box and pull out the tiny packages um inside it okay let's go let's go i think the rest of it is just stuffing so i can just throw the stuffing in and toss the box aside for easier clearance later. Alright, so let me take the stuff out from the bubble wrap first because the rest of them is just, I don't know, unprotected. So, okay. Aside from that, um, oh, oh, that's, that's strange. I remember this was, uh with a lot other stuff oh okay so yes i'm sure you guys already know that yes the well the rockman zero collection um rockman zero zexus so is zx um dub what double hero collection so yeah it's in japanese so i have to read it <laughs> take some time to read it um it comes with like codes but I remember this having like I remember I didn't just order the regular edition. I remember I ordered um, a special one. So it comes with stuff. I don't know. Maybe it's inside the box. Um, I probably have to go and check up on it. If, if not, I'd probably inform Army Army. Like, where's the rest of the stuff? So, okay. So this is the I supposedly ordered a like a limited print of this. I don't know why it's just this so it comes with a whole bunch of the um zero series or rather it's a re remastered version if not wrong that's why the artwork is so different so yeah i was a big zero fan of the mega man series so i decided to get this i did not get the collection for the mega man standard games i guess so that's one of the reasons why i just got this instead because <laughs> i like zero a lot yes he's, he's way cooler than mega man um i apologize for all the mega man fans out there so anyway guys this is what i got from japan because um i really really like um the japanese art style or rather the box art for this instead of the English ones. I mean, there is an English rendition of this game, so if, if it's cheaper in your country, don't bother going to the Japanese one because, you know, uh, for me personally, since, you know, I was going for the limited edition, there was supposed to be other stuff like art books and all this kind of stuff. So I don't understand why is this just a game alone. Hmm. <laughs> Hopefully the art book is somewhere inside this thing, but it doesn't seem to be anything. So I don't know. I'm going to check my order later on. And of course, I think this is the end of it. So the volume six Blu-ray for Takagi-san. Uh, this one has episode 11 and 12. Um, that should be the end of the series unless there's a volume 7. I don't recall there being one because season 1 only had 6 volumes um, for the Blu-ray. So this should be the last one for the Takagi-san um, yeah, season 2 Blu-ray set. So yes, that's it. Should be it. Well, hopefully it is because that's a lot of money so <laughs> aside from all of that yes i have princess jasmine as an android um 
If you're under wondering why I'm collecting this, well, initially I was collecting all the Disney princesses of hearts. Yes, for the Kingdom Hearts collection. Um, so I don't know. Now that the Kingdom Hearts series has come out with very, very difficult to collect figures of their characters. First it was the Bring Up Kai, which I was collecting, then suddenly they stopped producing those and they decided to do a Bring Up series which is a tinier version and a slightly lower quality edition plus uh, I guess cheaper make of the figures then i had to rebuy those which is ridiculous so i decided not to i don't know uh it's a very complicated uh, love hate relationship with the kingdom heart figures right now so aside from that so the last thing i got from this tiny box was the nandroid dolls uh craft book so like i mentioned there was a new one and so this is the book itself so like i said in my previous videos if you like to see what are the contents for the these books do let me know in the comments down below all right so moving along the stuff is really piling up <laughs> okay so i'm gonna have to rearrange the stuff here and i'll get back to you guys in just a while okay so the next box i have is a pretty long one a very long box and this one actually doesn't belong to me uh, it belongs to a bunch of macross friends from around the world and got friends in indonesia philippines singapore who are sharing this one you guys know who you are i definitely have tagged you saying that you should be watching this video because your stuff is being shown in this unboxing video as well well, um, I personally did not order anything for myself because, um, well, I think my money has been really stretched in this month. So um, definitely I did not get anything personally for myself this time around. But it is bundled with other things that I did order. So let's take a look um inside so the, the stuff that is from for the macross guys um and girls are basically from the macross fan club official fan club uh maku makutama and they released um risa Bata's exclusive merchandise um so yeah i'm gonna have to take out all the stuffing oh my god they use like the bubbly bubbly version balloon type stuffings so annoying and like the items are like so so few what is this oh god there is advertisement pamphlets in this one as well oh my room is a mess okay all right so there is a poster row in here then we got the bundles of stuff that is what we ordered okay okay so oh one gigantic box with so little things this is this is just ridiculous okay so let's let's start with the um stuff that the other guys ordered first all right so first off is the Kaname Buccaneer clear file I don't know who ordered this is one of you girls definitely um, who are Kaname fans Mikumo's clear file all right then of course at the back it comes with the Makutama logo of the original Macross fan club so very very nice designs all right so inside here is the acrylic stands for the girls that you guys have ordered and of course the mikumo stuff is definitely mostly from jet so here is the um i guess the card sticker you know if you guys have like um train pass card that kind of stuff so usually that's that's why you paste over it if you do not like your train pass now of course we have the Freya Weons acrylic stand so we've got two of them um, very pretty actually so I don't know whether you guys can actually have a closer look it's a very thick very very thick acrylic um, so yeah kind of heavy then of course we have two more Kaname Buccaneer acrylic stands so very very nice design 
All right, and lastly, we've got lots of fans of <laughs> Mikumo. <laughs> so if you guys want to take a look at her designs, um, I guess I should probably hold this upright so it's easier for you guys to see. But at the same time, it's annoying because of the light that I have. Um, yeah, still have to go and find a proper setup for my room. If I, you, you guys won't be able to see my face if I didn't have this light here. So, <laughs> all right. So aside from this, this is basically the main thing that I had to ship over for them. But at the same time, I have something for myself now. I'm not too huge of a Kyono Yasuno fan, but when I saw her do this for her fan club, I had to order. Um, you know, she is a very nice um, lady. I have met her in person when she came to Singapore for uh, AFA Singapore. I think that was three years back now. Um, so that's some time ago. So that's what this poster is for actually. So if you guys have seen this uh, around, I guess, Kiono fans and some of them who have posted in Macross fan groups, you probably have seen this. So this is Kiono Yasuno's fan club. Um, grab your Blu-ray um, that she did in Thailand. So. If you guys are lucky, you might see me stream this somewhere <laughs> on my cross FaceTime the culture. If you guys are lucky. So I won't probably stream this very, very often because this is kind of an exclusive item that you have to pre-order and it comes with a tapestry. So I probably might show it somewhere here in the video. Um, what the tapestry is like is basically Kiyono Yasuno uh, in her swimsuit. So looking forward to unraveling this <laughs> later on. Um, so yeah, so lucky you guys, you get to see a glimpse of what the merchandise is like. Alright, so let me move all the stuff, the precious, precious acrylic stuff out of the way. Um, and of course, let's move on to the last final box, um, which belongs to Ami Ami as well. Okay, can you guys see me? I'm buried behind the box. The box is so huge. Can you, uh, you see, <laughs> I am literally buried by this box. It is so freaking huge. I have no idea what item inside that is really this big. Um, I didn't order that many this during this round of shipment. It's something inside that is just huge. And let's take a look what it is. I'm gonna have to put this on the floor and open it up because this is ridiculously big. Uh, luckily it can still sit on the floor. All right, so let's open this up real quickly. Yeah. All right, let's slice it open. Unboxing it now. Woo. Let's throw the stuffing aside. Okay. Wow. Wow. Okay, so um, there's really not much stuff in here. Um, There's only like four items in here. Okay, so, and four items, they are all duplicates. So uh, <laughs> look forward to whatever I'm showing you. So first thing off is for my cross fans. Yes, it's the final, final piece of the Walkure Chaos team. Um, the design is by Tenjin Sama. So if you guys are my cross fans, you guys know what this is. So eventually I probably might put up the video for the special um, AR dance that Mikumo will do for this particular version um, somewhere on the inter internet or rather Macross Space Time The Culture. You guys know where all my Macross stuff go to. So yeah, so definitely look forward to this. Um, I finally have all five designs and yes, I will eventually be giving all five away. 
um, for a very special giveaway on my cross space time day culture in the future so if you guys are fans of my youtube channel and you are watching my unboxing videos you guys have a heads up already so spread the news spread the love share this video to all your macross fans i guess uh why in macross space time the culture because the giveaway is only exclusive to macross face space time the culture members um so look forward to that in the future so as you can see i have got like double <laughs> i have no space right now oh my god i'm gonna put this back in the box because there's just literally no space all right so the second item yes is a duplicate eye as well so i have two bundles of this this is a takagi sun exclusive um hoodie um so i don't know whether you guys can see it so as you can see that's the design and of course there's a tapestry that comes with it so at the back of it is a tapestry of the Takagi-san poster um, just showing Takagi-san wearing the hoodie I will probably put the actual image of the poster somewhere here in this video and yeah so I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to wearing this hopefully it's a free size uh, and it says that it's a unisex L size. I don't know. I, I don't know whether L size will fit me. But I'm hoping it does. Because usually hoodies tend to be slightly bigger than the actual sizes of your t-shirt. So I'm looking forward to actually wearing this um, sometime soon. So yeah. The, so why, why do I have duplicates uh, of this? This is actually... Um, this is actually not cheap um this was how many yen i think it was close to um i think it was almost about 170 us dollars um per set uh that's so i got this one for myself the other one well um it's actually for my my japanese sister um so i don't know whether she watches my video um, because mostly all of it is in english so i guess present uh, uh, so um uh, look forward to it i guess uh hopefully she, if she does watch my video she probably can understand that i actually got this for her birthday gift um this year so she is a tagagi san fan as well so um <laughs> i guess this would probably be a surprise to her if she doesn't watch this video so <laughs> Anyway guys, that's pretty much it for the month of February. That's all the stuff that I got. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys found interesting throughout the whole bunch of stuff that I showed. Uh, and of course, let me know, you know, if you want to see a personal unboxing of some of the stuff uh, aside from the things that I've shown already that you probably want to see like um, a deeper inside look of if not yeah let me know if you guys enjoy yourself by hitting the like button to this video and of course subscribe for more content just like this especially if you want to see what comes next in the month of March uh, I have some of the packages here already so I'm just waiting for a few more to arrive before doing a video uh, because apparently much I don't really have a lot of stuff which is a good thing <laughs> I don't have to spend too much time editing videos and of course spending too much energy recording them later on <laughs> when they all arrive anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching all the way to this uh, end of the video if you guys did I appreciate you lots because I cannot stress enough how important watch time is for a youtuber out there anyway guys thank you guys so much for your time and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys soon bye